Thanks for joining me today. I am Jen Lee, and this is my Gentastic journey through semi-retirement. And today I'm excited to share with you a completely different type of content. So I pulled the group through my community tab on the carnivore diet and who'd be interested in learning a little bit more about it and joining me on a 30 day challenge. Today, I wanted to kick off the prep talks, which is what I'm calling my videos before we start the challenge, because there is a lot to learn. Even though this way of eating is fairly simple, there's a lot to learn, there's a lot of questions to be answered, there's a lot of hesitations that probably need to be settled. So I'm taking the next almost 30 days and I'm just gonna help teach you all the things that I've learned by doing this carnivore way of eating for the last year. We're gonna kick it off on August 12th of 2024 and it's gonna go 30 days to September 10th of 2024. That 30 day challenge is so that we have a community so we can tell each other what's working, what's not working, where we need help, where we still have questions. It's just a great way to start something new in your life, especially when you're trying to make a new healthy initiative. And that's what this is. Let me tell you why you might wanna do this and why you might be interested in learning a little bit more about this. So I am a chronic dieter. I grew up heavy, I was heavy as a little kid, and I kind of stayed heavy through my whole adult life. So I've tried every diet known to man, and I've lost a little bit of weight on some of those diets, but I typically would pretty quickly kick all those diets, feel deprived, and then gain the weight back, plus usually a couple of pounds, right? So we've all been there, we've all done that. Some of us have maybe had a relatively skinnier life, and then later in life you get heavier, or you have kids, or you just get a sedentary job, whatever it is, we put on a little bit of weight, and so we're looking to lose weight. The other thing is as we get older, and I'm in my 50s, some of you may be older or younger, most of my viewers are over the age of 50, so there's probably a few of you out there that feel like you no longer can maintain your weight and that you have like aches and pains in places you didn't used to have aches and pains, and it's not because you just did a really hard workout, it's just chronic aches and pains. And then fatigue, that's a big thing too when you get a little bit older, that chronic fatigue. And even if you're not older, chronic fatigue is a symptom that you're just not at your healthiest, right? What I found is the carnivore diet attacks not only our weight problems, but the joint pain, the chronic fatigue, the feeling like we have a lot of brain fog, can't find our words and things along those lines. Plus, a lot of us have hormone imbalances and autoimmune diseases and, or auto, autoimmune conditions. Some of us are diabetic or pre-diabetic. So there's a lot of things tied up with healthy eating. And what I researched and found is it's not working out a ton, although I think working out is definitely something that you want to do for longevity and to maintain a healthy lifestyle. But for most of our health conditions and most of the chronic issues that we're having, it's primarily tied to what you eat, so your diet, right? What I found when I first retired, I said, okay, this is a time where I need to research and find out what is the right thing to do. I wanted to find something that was sustainable, something that was relatively easy, something that I could do for my whole life, and then also something that I wasn't gonna feel deprived. Funny enough, as I'm doing all this research and watching YouTube videos and researching doctors and reading, my husband became interested in what he was calling the carnivore diet. My husband has been known to kind of jump into a lot of extreme diets. He's one of those people that can eat the same thing every day in and out. So he's done like the tuna fish diet, He's done like the egg and cheese diet, just things where he eats the same thing every day and is okay with that. I am not like that. I cannot eat without variety. So I kind of let him do his little carnivore thing, whatever the heck that was. Didn't do any research on it. I just let him go, right? Because he was going to go anyway. He's one of those people that when he gets something in his mind, he's doing it. What intrigued me is within a few weeks, he had all this energy. He's like, honey, I don't know what to do with all this energy. I'm so energized when I get up in the morning and I'm so energized from this diet. So anybody that's excited to get up in the morning, excited, has a lot of energy. I mean, who wouldn't want to be like that, right? So I was intrigued. Also his blood sugar, so he's a diabetic. 
his blood sugar was was going down and he was in non-diabetic numbers. I was like, wow, that's pretty impressive as well. So again, intrigued, but not willing to do anything about it. Cause I was like carnivore, like that doesn't sound right to me. I at the time was on a whole food, plant-based lifestyle and thought I was doing what was fine and good for my body. But I did know that there was stuff going on cause I was achy. I was not energetic when I got up in the morning and I wasn't losing weight. Something had to change. The light bulb really went off when my husband said to me, I am having such a hard time remembering to eat. And I was like, what? Because my husband is one of those people that says he's chronically hungry. He will eat a meal and half an hour later, he'll be looking for a snack and he's like, I'm just so hungry. And I used to think, you know, mm, okay, who could be hungry a half an hour, an hour after a meal? Not me. I'm not, I can snack, I could want something sweet, but I'm not looking for another meal. He's looking for another meal. Well, I found out from his family that it's actually a thing in his family. They all have a hard time feeling satiated. So for him to tell me that he was forgetting to eat because he was feeling that satisfied, I was like, okay, time to take interest. But he actually talked me into it when we were at an RV park. That's not usually a time where I'm like sitting in front of the TV watching YouTube videos. He said, why don't you try it with me this week while we're on this trip? And I was like, really? But he said, just eat what I'm eating this week. So I did. And I ate some really good foods, like stuff that for somebody that was trying to be whole food plant-based was very different than what I was used to. So I was having steaks, I was having hamburger meat, I was having eggs and bacon and butter. I will tell you that although I had a headache because the sugar that's in my system from all that whole food plant-based stuff, a lot of carbs in that way of eating, I had to detox from that. Once I researched it, I realized that you're really supposed to kind of wean off sugar before you start this way of eating. I didn't do that. I also didn't do much research. So I jumped into it kind of halfway. And that's why I'm doing these videos for you. So you can do it with more information and a little bit better prepared. That's why I'm calling these prep talks, not pep talks, but they're close. I jumped in and my husband and I both lost a significant amount of weight. I lost 30 pounds, which is more than I've lost on a diet in as far as I can remember. My husband lost more than that. What's even better for him is that his A1C went down to a very acceptable level. He's been as high as 11. For those of you that are diabetic, you know that that is really critical. He now is right in that 5, 5.2 range consistently. And his doctor is thrilled. And this doctor said, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. <laughs> Why I tell you all this is because I want you to get excited about this. And I want to tell you that this is not just a thing that my husband and I came up with. There is an actual community. Yes, a community, because this is a real thing. There are doctors and health professionals and people that have been doing this way of eating for 10, 12, 15 years. It's not something that's going to kill you long-term. It's not something that's gonna ruin your body long-term. I had my blood work done before I started just because it was my annual and I just went in for my annual and my doctor was like, I kind of feel bad that you're here because there's absolutely nothing wrong. All of your scores are better than they were last time. We'll talk about that. Like what is butter and beef and all that and eggs do to your overall health and your cholesterol and stuff like that. Don't you worry, we'll get into that. Even though I'm not a doctor, I have done, I just can't even tell you how much research. I have read books. I have probably read six books on the carnivore diet. I've watched every professional, every long-term carnivore that's on YouTube. And I will share all those people with you because they're wonderful. And a lot of them have some really good information. What I will tell you is a lot of them are a little bit conflicting in their information. There is some debate on how how much protein and how much fat and do you have carbs don't you have carbs we'll talk through all of that and I think what it comes down to at least for me and my husband and for the people that I'm following in this community is that everybody's a little different we're all a little bit different and it's funny my doctor said to me when I told her what diet I was doing she said you know what I've figured out through the years that everybody's different and whatever works for you is what you should do so I was like Exactly. This may not be for you, but I encourage you to at least listen to what 
I've got to say over the next month, you've got a month to prepare or a little bit less than a month to prepare. We're going to all start together on August 12th. Hopefully by then I will have explained how this works, explained what some of the nuances are, explained some of the things that you can do to help some of maybe the things that you're falling into. Like as an example, I had leg cramps in my first few weeks of carnivore and I didn't know what the, what it was. I didn't attribute it really to carnivore. And then I was reading a comment from someone else's YouTube video. She said, I've been having ter terrible leg cramps. I started on electrolytes, which are just minerals for that your body needs anyway, but just they need a little bit more because you're not retaining water without the carbs. And I started taking electrolytes, life-changing. <laughs> So my energy went up and my leg cramps went away and I just felt overall better from having a little bit of electrolytes. Now I will tell you there's not vitamin deficiency or mineral deficiency in this diet. Meats, when we get into it, you'll see that they are a perfect food for us and they are actually what our ancestors ate. It's not something where it's crazy talk and it's an extreme diet. It's really not. It's really something that will help you be healthier. And I hope you will at least hear me out in some of these videos and maybe join us for 30 days. I mean, what's 30 days really, right? And if you can start to feel the amazing things that I felt, I think that you might be hooked. I told my husband, fine, I'll do this for a week. And then I did it for 30 days. And then I was like, well, I can't stop this. I feel too good. My aches and pains went away. I started working out, which I do not work out. So I started working out and enjoying it because when you can work out because you have energy and because you don't have pain, that's a game changer. I do believe that exercise helps you build muscle. So I think that helped me maintain my weight for the year since I've started the carnivore diet. I will tell you that I was hardcore for 90 days. And then I decided to try like a ketovore, which is like keto plus carnivore, so heavy meat. But I did have things like avocado. And I started to add in some like keto snacks, which those are, I think, what I need to cut out. And so that's why I said to myself, I still have weight to lose. I am still overweight. I feel a heck of a lot better than I used to. This way of eating, I know it's it's proven for me and I know it's proven for my husband and it's proven for lots of people in this community. So let me help you learn a little bit more about it. I'm gonna condense all the stuff I've learned and we're gonna talk about this every week. So subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because that notification bell will tell you every time I put out new content. Don't get nervous if you see something about dogs or something about card making because I do other content. But I promise you that every week there will be something about this carnivore challenge and our prep talks which are gonna get us ready for August 12th through September 10th. So I hope your interest is peaked. I hope you're excited. I hope at least you want to learn. So let's do this together. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you in a couple days for our next prep talk. Bye.